Hello everyone. In the last session, we discussed about the terms how the poles will be formed and the coil and coil formation. Generally, in that the coil is represented like this. Here, look at here. This is the one ton. This one ton representation means look at here. This one ton is this coil is coming from here and end with here. This is the one ton. What about second turn? Second turn means the second turn meaning itself it is starts from here and this is continues like this. This is about the second turn. What about third turn? This will be represented like this. every time we are representing the coil is difficult. That's why we are assuming the simple manner. That's why it is represents the coil. That's why it represents the coil here. These turns is represent every coil is represents with by number of turns. So we have five coils. It have number of turns like this, and it consisting of the one turn means must and should consisting of the two conductors. Must and should consisting of the two conductors. Okay. Next. So in this, how by using the how how we are we are making the poles by using the turns by using the coils itself so just observe here just observe this diagram for example we are creating in order to produ produce some north and south we should require what is meaning of north and south north means always it should eject the pole it should eject the pole that means it should give flux from north pole to south pole in this manner so in order to get this in order to form a north pole here and south pole here we should have a cross here we should consisting of the cross here cross means current should be like this this means dot here you should have a dot how it forms so i will be explained here so take it some take it some another color this is the color so what is this meaning means here we have the winding the winding is inside connected like this that means we have a some current the current will the current will be entering into this in into this into this path after that flowing that the current will out from this here current will entering and current will be exiting whenever the current will be entering and exiting in this manner so by using the right hand thumb rule it should be formed a north pole it should be formed a north pole and it should form a south pole always from north pole to south pole the flux will be travels the flux will be travels so this is the current this is the current direction we can name it as the current direction this current direction will decides force for example if this is the cross pole and this is the dot pole then the poles will be interchanged that means here it will get the north pole here and here we will get the south pole here so here the direction of the current will be very very important to make the pole to make the pole and we can arrange the four poles also we can arrange four poles for example if you look at here for example i should create some four pole configuration is like this the four pole configuration is for example just we have these are useful for current making for example if it is a cross that means from this point current is entering and this is the dot current is exiting this is the current is entering and this is the current is entering and this is the current is exiting okay this point is current is entering this is exiting so if you observe here the current is entering and this is exiting so this will be acts as a north pole this will be supply so we can make it so by changing the color we can understand very easily so i am changing the current what is this meaning from this point current is entering and from this point current is exiting like this so 
what is this it will act as a north pole this area that will supply the power inside here also one cross one dot is there then it will be acts as a south pole and it will be exiting it will be acts as a north pole it is entering and it will act as a south pole it is exiting it is exiting so if the four folds formation is there this is the method this is the formation of the things so here the cross and dots will decide what is the meaning of cross cross means current is entering into screen current entering and dot means current is exiting current exiting so by using that products we can give the direction of the current and we can understand the flux direction okay so for this just look at here these are the different different conductors a is the conductor b is the conductor c is the conductor and d is the conductor then from a conductor current is entering and c conductor current is leaving current is entering current is leaving so by that there is a coil is there that coil there is a coil for this coil generally how it available for this coil so we can give like this a coil at this point two are entering a b are entering c d are leaving so how many conductors we have conductors are four for this conductors are four what are those a is conductor b is conductor and c and d are the conductors okay and a b are in same direction c d are in same direction so can i make a can i make a winding connection by using that how i make the winding connection just look at here here just i am considering a winding is like this a winding is like this that winding for example is like this so we have some winding some winding is like this this winding have at, at one point we have this much of conductors path this much of conductors path for example we have this much of conductors path so whenever whenever the winding is like this concentrated at the particular one point all are entering for example all are entering all these points are entering so these points are entering cross product cross products then this will be the mmf will be increases mmf will be suddenly increases and these are the dot products these are leaving at one particular point then mmf will be decreases at this point mmf will be increases and mmf will be decreases so for example if we are using a distributed winding distributed winding means these all are distributed equally so the distributed winding connection is like this these are the four and next these are the four in this distributed winding we have four one two three four and remaining are four one two three four four cross and four dot is there how it varies so at one step the emf will be increases the second step emf will be increases third step emf will be increases fourth step emf will be so mmf will be increases next after coming that emf will be decreases emf will be decreases emf will be decreases like this manner so whenever concentrated winding is there suddenly mmf will be increases suddenly mmf will be decreases but whenever we are using a distributed winding the distributed equally distributed winding that time the mmf will be slowly increases and slowly decreases that means the mmf is reached maximum value then after that it will downwards to minimum value it will it is minimum to maximum value and after that from maximum to minimum value it will be decreases so it has some a distribution constant generally it is represents like this kd equal to sin m sin m beta sin beta beta by 2 sin m beta by 2 m sin beta by 2 sorry m sin beta by 
by using the distributed constant we can understand very very clearly okay this is about the generally pole formation so the same diagram is represented here so but this winding is we can call it as two points how it called if the winding is full pitch that means completely covers first conductor to the last slot of the conductor then it is called the full pitch if it covers 180 degrees electrical then it is called the full pitch winding this is called the full pitch winding if the coil connection is not cover 180 degrees that that means it will be less than 180 degrees then that winding is called the short pitch winding short pitch winding so here here the meaning of p pitch means it is 180 degrees angle it is 180 degrees angle full pitch means the coil should cover complete 180 degrees but what about meaning of the short pitch short pitch means it is less than winding so these are the different different windings here the one here the one winding is concentrated winding here the all concentrated with single point is a distributed winding distributed winding means all the conductors are distributed equally and this is the full pitch winding the coil should be covered 180 degrees and this is the short pitch winding the coil pitch is less than 180 degrees is called the short pitch winding so these are the different different winding connections different different winding connections of a induction machine i hope all of you understand the session thank you